वेलकम टू ज्वेलरी विशेष आज अपनी समक्ष है डॉक्टर मधुसूदन राज टूडे लाइक आज आप थोड़क इंग्लिश में कंटीन्यू करसू आखू जो प्रोग्राम है बिकॉज देर आर नॉ लिस्नर हु आर नॉन गुजराती लाइक लेट मी फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू राज सर ही इज बेसिकली एन ऑस्ट्रियन इकोनॉमिस्ट ही इज अ सोशियल साइंटिस्ट ही इज अ एज्युकेशनिस्ट एंड हेल्थ एंथ्यूजियास्टिक ही इज ऑल्सो अ पी एच डी इन इकोनॉमिक्स फ्रॉम बी एन एस जीयू एंड होल्ड्स अ ग्रेज्युएट डिग्री इन ऑस्ट्रियन इकोनॉमिक्स फ्रॉम मिजिज यूनिवर्सिटी यूएसए करंटली ही इज एन एसिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स फ्रॉम इन इन डी एच आर डी एंड वी वेलकम यू सर ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म सो लाइक यू कैन स्टार्ट विथ गोल्ड एंड इट्स इम्पोर्टंस थैंक यू जगेर फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी वेलकम सर थैंक यू आई थिंक एटीन मिनिट्स आर वेरी फ्यू फॉर डिस्कसिंग एवरी थिंग सो आई विल ट्राई टू कवर वेरी क्विकली सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट यू The first question you ask me is gold and its importance. So, as I said, we don't have enough time. So, let me quickly tell you. I don't have uh, reasons to discuss everything. Gold is money. Ah, uh, first yes. of all, gold primarily its role in an economy is that of a common medium of exchange. Gold facilitates exchange, trading, and everything. In today's time, we don't see that. because since last 70 years or so uh, in 1971 15th august 1971 the american then american president richard nixon closed the gold window that means whatever left over of gold ancient gold standard we had gold dollar exchange standard he shut down that gold window and from that date onwards the whole world's economies are basically on a fiat paper currency standard so the notes paper notes that we use today whether they are rupee notes or dollar notes or pound notes or singaporean dollar notes these all are currencies they are not money money okay. is basically a commodity which is universally accepted by everyone as a medium of exchange now to understand why money is important we have to understand the importance of exchange for all of us the one okay. characteristics that defines human beings from other animals is that we exchange so for example suppose you are a producer of tomato and i'm a producer of onion i cannot eat onion i cannot consume onion all the time and you cannot consume tomato all the time so you want to obtain my onion and i want to obtain your tomato how do we do that we exchange with each other, with each other we trade with each other and when we do this trading it is called barter and slowly because there are a lot of problems in barter exchange economy like the problem of double coincidence of want and indivisibility of the product also so then economic calculation becomes difficult money evolves in the market to solve this problem of exchange it makes exchange smooth exchange is important because that is what allows us to consume those things that we cannot produce for example i told you that via exchange using money <clears throat> which is gold and silver historically you can obtain my onion and i can obtain your tomato without any kind of war <clears throat> another way of obtaining other person's goods is to uh, attack that person and kill that person but that is not a civilized way and that way leads to destruction as we already are seeing in wars in the 20th century and the 21st century also so because yes, of exchange because of exchange and trade we become rich we can obtain those things that we cannot produce on our own you remember that all of us are not expert in producing everything that we consume in our day to day life for example whatever you are using right now whether your clothes or shoes or bag or spectacles or ring or gold 
for example you cannot produce all those things on your own you cannot produce tomato you cannot produce onion you cannot produce wheat everything that you are consuming you cannot produce on your own but despite that fact you can still obtain those things by selling the services that you are you know good at producing others will buy those services and in exchange of those services they will give you money which is a common medium of exchange you can use that money to buy the things that you cannot produce on your own so that way exchange makes a better life possible it increases our standard of living more we exchange more we trade with other people whether they are in surat or whether they are in gujarat or whether they are in india uttar pradesh or in china or in america the better and money facilitates this exchange and that is the reason why money is very important uh, factor in any economy and as i said historically gold and silver has played the role of sound money that is the reason why gold has a lot of importance in any economy right the problem of inflation and business cycle and unemployment resulting because of those business cycles that we see today is a direct result of not using gold and silver as money fiat paper currencies which are controlled by our governments and central banks like rbi they are prone to manipulation because it, it is easy for the government and central bank to print paper currency and inflate reduce its purchasing power and by doing that they steal our hard earned income from us so inflation is basically a form of taxation fiat paper currencies allow government to steal our money from us without even putting their hands in our pockets that is the reason why historically they dismantle the gold standard and silver standard and bring in the paper currency standard but now what is happening because the paper currencies are not money they do not have any of the characteristics that are required for a commodity to become money like durability is high value per unit weight money has to be scarce <clears throat> commodity so that its value is higher per unit like what is the case with gold for example right to facilitate yeah. trade it has to be easily transportable divided into smaller denominations unit all these qualities gold has governments cannot manipulate the supply of gold because gold was formed when our universe was formed it was formed around 22 billion years ago it's one of the heaviest metal in the universe it yes. cannot be manufactured by any human being like diamond right diamond is also precious but it cannot be used you know as money because we see today synthetic diamonds can be produced in a lab you cannot produce gold in a lab or silver in a lab these are produced by nature so the supply is limited and that is why they are a very good you know instrument for being you know functioning as money it has to be scarce but as i said because they tie hands of governments they cannot spend a lot of money they cannot fight wars they cannot do the welfare schemes which they used to buy votes politician that's the reason why they don't like gold standard and that is the reason why historically they removed the gold standard in 1971 on 15th august and since that time but as i said because fiat currencies are unsound i guess i think very strongly that their time is up now if you see any currency any one country's international currency like dollar it survives for around 75 80 years on an average and i think world monetary system is about to you know change heavily they are trying to go on digital currencies but again digital currencies will have the same problems as a fiat currencies so you know one way or other way if you want to stabilize economies around the world and you know generate prosperity countries will have to bring in gold as a monetary metal instead of using it just a jewelry or ornament so that's the importance of money money is important because it facilitates trade and exchange trade and exchange is fundamental for higher standard of living if your country is not going to trade not going to exchange if you are not going to trade not going to exchange you will remain poor because you cannot producing produce everything on your own and because gold 
and silver both have function as money historically that's why they both have importance right so exactly. into yeah so in today's time when there is a lot of uncertainty building up about the future because of all these senseless policies of the governments around the world and war starting gold's importance is even more now because gold sir, is money uh, and, yes uh, sorry to interrupt sir uh, so no, sir, no, sir, that is, sir that is that is the next topic uh, like next point that what is the current economic situation what are its consequences and the impact of russia and ukraine war on gold so we would like to know from you about this we can clearly see that uh, as as far as india is concerned the economic condition in india is pretty bad right now we have seen that in the past two years and even before that right because of one policy disaster after another like demonetization or gst or you know very knee jerk policy changes and implementing all kind of welfare programs and then the lockdowns you know to supposedly stop this uh, small virus that has battered destroy the economies around the world india's gdp quarterly gdp rate came down to minus 23% in that quarter and after that it came down to some minus 7% so because economies were completely halted production was completely halted there was lot of damage the unemployment rate in india even before the lockdown started in march 2020 uh the unemployment rate was 45 year high even before that because of the impact of demonetization and the botched implementation of gst now the situation is even worse right one policy after another policy the more see remember one thing very clearly i don't have time to discuss everything but let me tell you very clearly if you study economic science then it tells you that it is better that the governments do not interfere into the working of the market economy now the more they will interfere more they will try to control more they will try to regulate the economy more damage they will create and that is what is happening in india and globally governments are increasingly in charge of economies and that's why those interventionist policies are destroying the growth and progress of the world whatever and hard work we are doing <clears throat> and so that is that is the next point that what is the importance of insuring with gold so yeah because as i told you there is lot of future uncertainty pre- be, uh, being created by these government policies it is important that we safeguard our lives so gold you know is basically money and it is because it is sound money it's basically cash in your hand it's very liquid it provides you an insurance policy basically in today's time it is like insurance something which is in your hand is always better than something which is in somebody's hand or which is a paper promise paper yeah, promise okay. means if you have a stock market you know certificate or you have a bond certificate corporate bond a government bond or a mutual fund certificate all these things are paper promises like somebody is taking your money from you and in return of that they are only giving you a paper on which they have promised you to return something in some period of time but if they will default on their promises like what has happened you know like what we saw during demonetization that government has gone back on their promise of continuing with this currency notes and you know one night they came and they said this is no longer money it's just pieces of paper that kind of uh, breaking of people's trust can any time happen so in that case having gold in your hand instead of bank lockers is always going to give you purchasing power a source of livelihood so that uncertainty that is you know increasing we can control to bring down that uncertainty and have some kind of purchasing power into our hands gold is also a very good inflation hedge because remember as prices of everything goes up the price of gold also goes up and it basically nullifies this price inflation into other good sector Yes. so it's a, it is a good inflation hedge so that is the reason why it is always advisable to have some portion of your total wealth in gold so for example if you have 10% of your investment in stock market and other in government bond it is always important to have 10 15% in gold physical gold that will take care of your other investment even if you have losses like for example tomorrow market crashes 
gold will safeguard your purchasing power so you will not lose everything so yes, that, that is, is why that hmm. comes to the next topic that russia and ukraine war impact on gold like right now the market has already crashed and gold is at its peak so i would like to know about we would like to know about uh, this impact on gold as well see what is as i said it, because gold is a, a safety hedge inflation hedge and something which gives you safety over uncertain future people will continue to buy gold and because the supply of gold is very scarce in the world every year something like 2% of world production is of gold so the prices will continue to rise not only because of that but because of the inflation that central banks are creating all around the world they are going to print more and more money if the war starts then inflation will skyrocket let's say that tomorrow if chi- <laughs> it is already but you haven't seen anything like what hap- what is going on in venezuela for example or what happened in zimbabwe or what happened in the american revolutionary america when they printed the greenbacks or in france the continental it goes to like 1000% and 2000% inflation rate and in and in that time price of gold will continue to rise i can clearly see the price of gold going in six figures in coming future i cannot give you the date but according to my calculation you know the six figure is not very far so it is important to keep gold with you it can be seen as investment also because if you see last 25 years return on gold is easily 25 30% on an average it's around 500% rise in last 20 years which is no stock or no bond is going to give you very few stock pickups will give you that kind of return and not everybody is very smart to pick those stocks normal person like you and me can just go and buy gold and that will give you safety that will give you some kind of investment exposure give going to give you returns in future and you know give you livelihood option insurance also so that is why it is always advisable for a common person to have some portion of of his or her wealth into gold yes yes very true yes sir and so uh, so like what exactly you would advise people to do like when it comes to gold well they should buy buy gold whenever they have some you know reserve money available any saving available let's say that uh you can buy it at one time lump sum or what you can do is dollar you know uh, ev- cost averaging so buy little bit gold every month or every 3 month so what will happen these high and low prices you will average it out sometimes when you buy gold prices will be high sometimes when you buy it will be lower so average cost will be low but they should continue definitely to diversify their income into gold if somebody is not having any gold physical gold with him right now they are in a big danger so my you know advice is to purchase start purchasing gold let's say at least 5 to 10% of your total wealth should be in gold it can be in jewelry form it can be in coin or it can be in bars it can be any of this physical form but please uh only choose physical gold not uh, paper products like uh, exchange traded fund etf or paper gold many governments like indian government has paper gold scheme do not get fooled by those things physical gold is only that is in your hand is only going to help you when the time is going to be tough in the future anything that is not in your hand in today's time is not yours Uh, sir uh, one one listener is asking simi choudhary is asking are you saying uh, it's in danger in india or wor- worldwide the danger is worldwide right now we can see that if this ukrainian war is going to prolong and if the west the nato countries are going to provoke putin then it can escalate into nuclear war also because a few days back russia's foreign ministry said very clearly that nuclear option is very much on the table and in fact uh, putin has you know activated his nuclear deterrent forces now i saw icbms going into moscow and they are deploying all those weapons so any mischief any stupid action by any government around the world and a world war 3 can start and they said lavrov sergey lavrov who is a foreign minister of russia he said very clearly that the next third world war will be fought with modern weapon and that will be nuclear weapon so any policy mistake and we see many governments are politicians they don't have any understanding and they can make 
you know blunders and that can put plunge the whole world into third world war and if the nuclear war will start then it is going to create huge problems for all of us we cannot even imagine the devastation right uh, the bombs that dropped on hiroshima and nagasaki were much smaller, smaller in comparison to the bombs nuclear bombs that all these governments have with them right now you know easily enough to obliterate the whole world china is nuclear power pakistan is nuclear power india is nuclear power and if one country will use it then the other will be forced to use it too so the danger is not just in india danger is worldwide right now because when war will start india cannot remain neutral you know neutral it will it will be dragged into this conflict as you can see right now what is happening with the students so yeah, any yeah. policy any policy gaff by the indian politician any bragging about nationalism or whatever can enrage putin and he can you know start to move in this direction also all these politicians have long dreams of winning the world so you he has a dream of eurasian you know country you know eurasian union or something like that and he is in tie with china right now so china is also closely watching everything and they can try to grab taiwan or they can start attacking the border areas with india like arunachal pradesh for example or yeah. something in you know yeah ladakh area then what are you going to do then the there are the chances of you know any kind of nuclear war are very high because policy errors can take place you know politicians are not god in fact these people have no idea what they are playing with they are playing with fire right now so that's why the danger is real and danger is very very high worldwide right now sir one question crypto versus physical gold your views always physical gold cryptocurrencies if there is war there is no electricity there is no power no computer everything will be knocked out by the uh, military then what are you going to do as i said something that is physically in your hand is always better than something that is sitting in some server digitally somewhere crypto is not even a currency it's not used as a medium of exchange right now bitcoin or whatever right nobody is going to accept them if you want to buy milk you cannot use bitcoin but if you have a small piece of silver or gold you can use it on the spot to buy something and survive so in any corner of the world in any corner of any the world any corner of the world because that's why i said that Yes. gold is universally accept even if you are in some tribal village of africa they will take your gold and silver they recognize but they will not recognize bitcoin or rupee or dollar or pound yes that is why it is universal medium of exchange and that is the definition of money money is universally accepted all these currencies are not money nobody in africa is going to accept indian rupee and nobody in india is going to accept american dollar right after some time so far it is you know international currency but slowly the role is going away now they have stopped uh, this uh, russia from participating into swift banking system russia and china are going to dump dollar and we may see that maybe chinese currency yuan will become another money or currency but anyway so at any day i will take physical gold over cryptos Okay, so sir, uh, last fifty seconds are left, and uh, I would uh, like first of all thank you for joining us and giving us such an uh, like valuable information and knowledge and a right way to go ahead. And we would also wish you can uh, further join us in like another sessions, taking some new topics. And I would also and I would also thank all the listeners. Like today, we are seeing that there are a lot of listeners. So thank you so much for joining and uh, listening to this. Uh, if you have any query related to anything, you can contact Madhusudan Raj, and his uh, website is uh, MrsIndia dot com. So you can refer to that because it is really good. Like it is very well maintained, and there are a lot of good information available on that website. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank.